Welcome to Nerdy Dan and my first of many videos with tips and tricks on how to play Animal Crossing. Now, I'm a relatively new player, about three weeks in, so I'm going to include the mistakes that I've made to help show you what not to do, as well as what to do. In this video, we're going to go over what to bring with you when you use a Nook Miles ticket and are not specifically looking for villagers. I started prepping this video before I even got to any island, expecting and hoping that I would get the Bamboo Island to make a Scorpion Island. Veteran players should already see my first mistake, I'll get to that later. But this is what I feel you should bring with you for every trip. Your mystery island could be anything, Gold Island, Shark Island, Scorpion Island, etc. One time I got an island full of peach trees, so I just ate the coconuts on the beach and brought every peach tree home with me. But don't bring just the tools with you. Make sure you have some ore, stones, branches, hardwood, and regular wood. If you happen to land on Bamboo Island, wood is scarce, and you might not get enough resources to fix broken tools. You can buy some with Nook Miles while you're there, but why waste those when you have unlimited resources that you can bring from your home island and leave if you don't need them on your trip back. On my first attempt, I got Bamboo Island. So I'm thinking to myself, yes, I'm gonna be able to get Scorpion Island and better yet, it's raining, so you're not gonna have as much problem with bugs. So, so here's how to prepare an island for Scorpion Island. As you can see, the first thing that I do is start chopping down all the bamboo trees. The ax is going to be what you wanna make sure you have enough of because you need to chop down every single tree as well as deal with every single rock on the island as well. So. Just start chopping away, you can worry about everything else later. And now that I'm done chopping down all of the bamboo trees, I go ahead and start working on the coconut trees next. And as you can see, it's a good idea that I brought my extra materials with me because this is when my axe decides to break. Now, don't be depressed little guy, you have plenty of materials to go make yourself some new tools. But first let's go pick up that DIY because if you happen to not know it, then you'll have something that you can know and it won't take up a slot of your inventory. And if you do know it, you can just drop it back on the beach. As it turns out, we did not know it. New axe in hand, we go back around the island and clear out the rest of the coconut trees. And that will be the end of the need for that axe, except for perhaps if we want to use it for breaking rocks. At this point, just to play it safe, I like to start digging the traps to make sure that the scorpions cannot get to you as they're chasing you. You can duck into these little traps, which are basically consecutive holes dug in the sand to form a half a square. And if you are able to get around there and leave the scorpion on the other side, you will be able to catch them without fear of being stung. You want to do this on all four corners of your island, so you do not have to run all the way across the island to avoid getting stung by the scorpions. Now you want to spend time picking up every single thing on the island. All the bamboo, all the weeds, all the flowers. Pick everything up. You don't want anything that a different type of bug can spawn at. Putting three holes behind you is a good general tip to use when getting ore from rocks. It helps prevent kicking you back out of reach so you can get the maximum swings. I find I get 8 items more with a shovel, but here I'm using the axe because we don't need the axe for anything else. I am not bringing any of these home, but if I got a gold nugget, I would absolutely bring that home. It's worth more than a scorpion if you do sell them, unless you have flick, but I don't sell them because I like to keep them for building items that need this rare material. Once you max out the rock, eat a coconut, smash the rock, and continue to clean everything up. And in case you don't know this, using the Y button to kick the dirt over the hole instead of using the shovel to fill the hole is a way to spare your shovel uses so you don't burn it out as quickly. Now, once I've cleared every single thing off the island, it was time for me to grab my net and start chasing off the other bugs, i.e. the wharf roaches and whatever else appeared, because unbeknownst to me, we were too early for Scorpion Island, but I didn't realize this yet. So I went ahead and I dropped my tools off at the corners of the island and happened to see this on the shore. 
I saw the fin. I figured I would give it a shot. And it turns out I caught a whale shark. And whale sharks bring in more money than scorpions. So might as well bring that home. I looked up spawning times for scorpions and found out that it was not time for scorpions yet, period. Scorpions don't spawn until after 7 p.m. So I went and had dinner and came back to Scorpion Island and realized after chasing long locusts around for a couple more minutes that scorpions would never show up because the island was created before 7 p.m. I would never have scorpions on this island. I packed up my tools, brought my shark as well, and went home and decided to buy a couple of more Nook Miles tickets to see if I could salvage this day and make sure that I could finish getting Scorpion Island set up and completed. That's not Scorpion Island. And that's not Scorpion Island either. In fact, two more tries and I was almost ready to give up on my quest to get Scorpion Island. But I decided to go ahead and try and go to Herb's Island for a second to make sure I didn't forget to get my heart crystals. And then I gave it one more chance. And lo and behold, I found Bamboo Island again and it was after 7 p.m. so I could finish Scorpion Island. As I was cutting down my first trees, I happened to see in the distance the Atlas Moth, a moth I had not caught yet because every time I saw one I happened to be running past it and it would always get away. And here it was in the distance, so I decided to very, very cautiously sneak up on the Atlas Moth to make sure that I would catch it. Sure, it's one less scorpion, but it's one more entry for Blathers, so another victory. So I started all over again, chopping down trees, replacing my axes, and cleaning up the island to make sure that I could create my own DIY Scorpion Island. Of course, I didn't listen to my own advice and inadvertently brought a bag of 99,000 bells with me, which meant one less space for scorpions on this trip. But all my hard work paid off and I was able to get my first of many scorpions. Of course, sometimes scorpions can be a little difficult to attract and you have to go back and forth to try and get them to chase you so you can get them in your trap. And sometimes they're sneaky little buggers and they'll sneak right up on you and you'll barely miss getting stung, or as my kids like to say, stanged. Sometimes you gotta be really careful when they're chasing you because you can see another one and you want to make sure to not get stung by either of them. And sometimes you don't even listen to your own advice again. Sometimes they even wait for you on the rocks, which makes it even harder for you to see them. And then another one tries to sneak up from behind. And then... And when this happens, that's even more of a pain, because now I have to go find my materials. And of course, these materials are not on this corner of the island, they are on the other corner of the island. So I have to tiptoe along the back end of the island and then tiptoe all the way down to the front of the island on the side of the shore in the hopes that I don't get a scorpion this time. And then the scorpions got weird. This one decided it was just going to go for a swim. And then I don't know what on earth happened with these two, because the first one, I guess, decided just wanted to go and take his own Nook Miles and go on a ride somewhere else because he just disappeared. And then the second one just decided to play Ring Around the Rosie with me until it went up and disappeared too. And then this one just went ahead and offed himself. And then you had this close call. You'd think after this many scorpions, I'd be used to the timing by now. All in all, it was
was a success. I was able to get 37 scorpions and a new moth. I'm going to use three of those scorpions to make a sculpture with Flick and then sell the others to Flick as well. So in this video, you've seen what to bring with you to a mystery island, you've seen what not to bring with you on a mystery island, and you've seen how to not only make Bamboo Island into a DIY scorpion island, but you also see how to regularly smack rocks for the most output possible. So the next video, uh, please remember to subscribe to the channel, uh, give this video a like and share it if you like it, and I hope to be coming up with some new videos very soon.